I'm having a good time, they just trying to ruin it. Shout out to the fact that I'm the youngest nigga doing it. Cap on brim, bend, dance, sell air time. Yo, what's up guys, it is your boy Bugs, in today's video guys, I'm going to be explaining my aspect on how Fortnite can improve the competitive scene inside Fortnite, and let's get straight into it. So, how I'm going to go about this is, I'm going to name the game mode, say the format, and then say the prizing, and just go down the line how it should be. Now, for the main events, say if it was solo, of course, I think it should be Champion Series and, you know, Arena, such and such, everyone can play in it. But from going to open to make the semis, I believe it should be top 1,000 to top 2,000. Maybe even top 3,000 for solos. No one makes money at all. Absolutely not. And then when it comes down to making it into finals, which is the third round, it should be top 100 to top 200. Maybe top 300 if they're feeling nice. I don't really think it should go that high, but maybe just for the fact that it's solos, you know. Everyone has their own opinions on that, and I think payout should be top 50%, or everyone should make money, but you know, there's a threshold for every placement you get after a certain amount, like say top 50, and you know, 25, like you know you know how they already do it kind of, but I think that's how it should be, and they also should keep the um, format how they've been doing in trios and um, squads with the whole, they have a lobby load in time, and I think they should do that for like for the rest like that should be like a main thing for finals now just so it gives a vibe of the heats how it goes to stage two and stuff i think that's a great addition that they did instead of you just queuing up and waiting and waiting and waiting and you maybe getting your game maybe you don't get in your game you have an automatic six games and within the 100 to 200 and possibly even 300 you get generated in a random lobby and whoever you know scores the best scores the best and go on like that now for duos again open semis i believe it should be top 500 to a thousand again maybe top 1500 for semis and then to get into finals you have to be be top 50 to 100 and again maybe 150 like i said i'm just saying i'm throwing this maybe because maybe it's just too small people might be tilted like yo this is way too hard to get you know certain people just feel like they can't reach that in semis because it's not fully skillful of the top of the top players so maybe 150 that's equal to three lobbies and again like i said they should always keep the whole queuing um automatic queue thing that they have going on which will be three lobbies that will be queuing up at the same time and just generated of depending on how many points you have throws you into the game i feel like they do they do need to add like probably like a percentage of the highest with the lowest you know get a mixture and not just let the, the hardest people fight each other when a really good player could have possibly just did that and now he's in a lobby of a bunch of people that should be in the same skill level but he could be possibly higher and will just gain off from all of them so it should be possibly random of who gets in the lobby in the three lobbies or it should be like i said a top percentage of the top the middle and the and the ending in all three lobbies but that's how it goes same thing top 50 percent should make money or if you made finals shit you should make money that's just my thought on it now it's going to trios trio same thing open semis top 350 to 500 and then like i said another threshold maybe top a thousand if you want to open it more for people to um, play in the semis and then for finals you should be top 33 to 66 which is two lobbies and then again like i said maybe 99 which would make three lobbies again 50 percent um and up 50 yeah 50 percent and up makes money or the whole people that made finals make money and finally squads this is how it should be run which is pretty much almost similar which is top 250 to 500 maybe 750 and then finals top 25 to 50 and then maybe 75 and payout should be especially for squads to definitely be 50 percent and up or if you made finals you should definitely make money that is a very very small um pool of you know people now going on to the weekdays personally i think monday to thursday they should do v bucks like how they did with the whole shutdown thing i think this should be a one day event three hours four hours and they could do a type of you have a cap of 10 games for the whole day all right get this 10 games for the whole day you can play at whatever time but once the time is up you can no longer play you know instead of it just being oh you have to be here this certain amount from 5 p.m to 8 p.m that's it if you don't make the cut you don't make it i'm sorry you didn't you should have cleared your day for that maybe for the v bucks days it should be hey you have 10 games out of the whole day probably from say 12 p.m to 12 a.m i think that would be fair a whole 12 hour um open window to be able to play these games and you have 10 games and the threshold would be 
if it's solos and I think they should change it like if they do do this then they'll have certain days or they could just switch it up whenever they feel like it solo top a thousand uh, makes V bucks ranging from X amount it could be 20 V bucks 30 V bucks just replacing top a thousand I mean top 5k or 6k you know just this random thresholds it doesn't have to be oh you made top that 10,000 so you get 100 V bucks or you know such that it could be 20 V bucks you know something small light and if you place higher you know top 100 then sh you get like 200 V bucks top 50 you get a thousand you know just you know just make it um, entertaining they'll make it all about the money and this is kind of money but it's in a V bucks format same thing with duos, it will be top 5,000 rages, X amount, you know, how much they feel like is worth from 3,000 to first place. Same thing with trios, trios would be top 3,000, ranges from X amount, and squads would be top 2.5k, raining about X amount, and they just do this just pretty much daily, so we have some type of tournament to do, you know, something to actually... I don't know. I'm I'm a whole type of leaderboard guy, so I feel like this would be something pretty cool. Like I said, it would be 10 games or 15 games or how much games they want to do for the day would be lit. I think a 12-hour open window where you can play at any time against anybody will be lit. Now, yeah, it would be sad that, you know, if this person gets into an easy lobby, but it's like, it's V-Bucks. It's just for fun, you know, just to give someone to grind something for it. Even for like, the, for, like, the smaller people that can't really make it into the money, this would be something that I'll definitely look forward to. Like, oh, shoot, I placed top 5,000. I made, like, 30 V-Bucks, you know, playing it. You know, it'll be something cool. And then Friday, I think that should be the whole um, cash cup type of thing. And I feel like it should rotate each week between solo, duo, squads, and trios. You know, just mix it up, and it should be two rounds you could take from the format like I had, like solos, top 1,000, and then finals, you know, something like that. Like, uh, first round is open to everybody, and then finals is top 1,000, top 2,000, you know, f same format from semis, and then, you know, X out the whole final thing, and then make people play for it, and like the top, you know, 200, 300, how much they feel um, should make money, makes money, and I feel like they should definitely do that. I feel like this whole open window period just for cash cups is very unhealthy for the competitive scene just for the fact that it just makes it look like it's not worth it or it, once you fuck up one or two games it's like oh i'm out of it man i might as well just go w key and ruin other people's game you know it'll probably throw that mindset out for the fact that once you you know qualify for the second round it's like oh shoot um i'm a top a thousand like I, even if i choke a game you know i still have a chance and if you know they feel like that's not enough maybe they could also do like I said about the finals for like the main events like the main solo duo trio events they could do like top a thousand but they have a queue time you know if you're not queued in if you don't get in a match you're screwed over you know like that like maximum six games and stuff and I know some people probably say oh it's not enough time that's six hours for the whole day that's too much well I mean it's only a cash cup it's not should it be that much money and like yeah it'll be sucked that you can't make it all the time but it's like you know I don't know I just feel like this whole one round thing is just very uncompetitive like and I feel like it should at least be a minimum of two rounds but yeah I think that's all I have for the video hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed my ideas of how the format and pricing should be for Fortnite in the future hopefully this actually blows up a little bit and people agree with it and actually you know probably get this out to Fortnite and they probably could rearrange something like this like this will actually be cool I think having the main events like I said before and then having Monday through Thursday as like a V-Bucks day where people could play like even if they place top 2,000 like I said they make like 80 V-Bucks they place top 10,000 exactly they get 10 V-Bucks you know I think that'll be something everyone would thrive for even the casuals and then like I said cash cups two rounds on Fridays will be something to look forward to after every day on Fortnite because for me myself I personally do not really enjoy Fortnite unless I'm doing scrims or um, playing for money and I feel like that's really bad and I feel like I want something to enjoy so I feel like the whole weekday thing with the V-Bucks and like the main event will open more windows and make people want to try more and get back into the comp scene for Fortnite. That's all I gotta say guys, leave a like if you liked the video, if you really did enjoy my idea and think it was a really good idea, don't forget to share it, you know, share it to your friends and stuff, get this out there, hopefully Fortnite sees it, hopefully after this FNCS they could change the pricing because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm kinda disappointed with the whole squad FNCS, like I knew it was really gonna be hard, but for the fact that the whole prizing thing got like demolished from, what, what was it, top 250 in trios and then it drops all the way to top 10, in squads and you're sharing more money with your teammates is this is ridiculous to me but yeah um is it first time ever watching my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys and i'm out peace yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got another five on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out